Joe, it is news is covering the economy now. They risk their lives to serve and protect the community, but instead of receiving praise, more than two dozen firefighters from one department are getting pink slips. From the southeastern Massachusetts mobile newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is live in Fall River. Well, Shannon, what's happened here is that the federal well has dried up. It was expected, it was inevitable, but city leadership say there is light at the end of this tunnel. Come close of business Friday, about 25 Fall River firefighters will be hitting the unemployment line. Personnel hired since 2010 with over 14 million in federal grant dollars. But that grant has expired. And since there were a number of jobs hired uh, on that grant, uh, we're having a difficult time sustaining those jobs. About eight firefighters took early retirement, like 28-year vet William Mello. He's now done. We asked him why. To help a young guy that's on this department uh, stay on this department. But Mayor Flanagan says Fall River is still below an adequate number of firefighters at 175. The goal is 200. The mayor says he's optimistic he'll be able to reach that and rehire those displaced over the next three to four years. But as for the present, it's about keeping that talent to stay close. Hopefully we can keep them in the Fall River. A number of ambulance companies have contacted the city saying, look, we have openings within our company. We know your firefighters have the qualifications uh, to be a paramedic and a firefighter. You know, we'll hire them. So the natural question in light of this plan diminishing of the force or diminished forces safety, the safety of the people who live here and work here. And we asked the mayor about that. And he said, look, the department will do whatever necessary to fight fires, whether that's overtime, whether that's mutual aid. Both things are on the table. And of course, we also, for the sake of fairness, reached out to the firefighters union. We placed repeated calls, but we have not heard back. Live in Fall River tonight with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.